Welcome to CTN's coverage of boys high school baseball. The Eastview Lightning taking on the Coon Rapids Cardinals at Wintercrest Park in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. Overcast sky, a comfortable 63 degrees Fahrenheit, just shy of 290 Kelvin if you're a thermodynamic scientist. Coon Rapids coming in on a two game losing streak, 10 and seven on the season. Uh, Eastview on a six game winning streak. So we'll see which team ends the other streak tonight. Batting first will be Eastview, Wilson, McDevitt, Selkow, Selchow, Augustine, Calvert, Stockwell, Johnson, Hodgen, and Lindstrom rounding out their lineup today, and they will be facing Tyler Wojcikowski on the mound for the Coon Rapids Cardinals. I'm sorry. There we go. Got my papers shuffled up there, so we're good. Out in the field for the Cardinals behind Wojcikowski, we've got Koss at first, Essler at second, Merkel at short, Dumovic over at third. The outfield is Little, Crawford, and Thompson. Catching those throws from Wojcikowski, Wojcikowski will be Justin Reeves. Setting up to open up the game here. First pitch is low. Called ball. Let's see Jacob Wilson, center fielder, starting off the order there. Another pitch low. Wojcikowski looking for the sign there from his catcher. Shows bunt but pulls back. He takes a strike around the outside corner. Bringing the count to two and one. Three one count. Here's a pitch from Wojcikowski. Brings it to a full count. Three two. Pitch from Wojcikowski is low. First batter reaches. On a walk. That'll bring McDivitt up to the plate. Catcher for Eastview. Hey, working hard now, Diver. Settles in there. Wojcikowski glances over at the runner, throws over to keep him honest. Sets and throws. That one's hit up the middle. Mishandled at second. Safe all around. As we see on the replay there, got the hit. Looks like he mishandled trying to toss the ball to. Didn't quite get it in his glove. Never had a chance to transfer it over for the double play. And so instead, you've got two runners on with nobody out. And that brings up Johnny Sutton. Wojcikowski sets up and throws. This one's high. one's followed back to the fence. Makes it one and one with two on here, top of the first. Matt Asler cheating a bit towards second base there to keep the runner on. And 
And this one's driven to left center gap. One runner will come home. Second digging in, and he holds up at second for a two-run double. We'll break open the scoring here in the top of the first. On the replay there, you can see he got it straight down to the gap. And behind the defense, two runs score pretty easy there. Still nobody out, runner on second. Brings Carson Augustin up to the plate. That first pitch is outside of the zone. One and no. Checking back towards second before the pitch. Pops this one straight to the mound. Fielded by Wozkowski and they get the first out, but it does advance the runner. Number seven, Kyle Calvert to come up to the plate with a runner in scoring position, only one out. Leaves a lot of options open for him. That first pitch hits the outside edge of the plate. Makes it 0-1. Gets him swinging on the second there. Two to Calvert, big opportunity for Cooner Rapids to get that second out this inning. That one's fouled off the ground and behind home plate. Calvert back into the box. This one's a little high, Wojcicki can't get him to bite on it. One, two pitch on the way. Ball two brings it to a two and two count. Grounded down the first baseline, but foul. There we see Tom Stray, head coach for Eastview. Out there managing at third base. Ball three, a little low and inside. Brings the count full. Still runner over on third, only one down. This one's grounded again, foul down the first baseline. Already eight, bat, eight uh, pitches this at bat, so. Good at bat for Calvert. That one's popped, foul down the third baseline. And just off the top of the fence. Dumovic had a chance to catch that one there. Thought better of uh, running full tilt into the wire fence, probably for the best. So that keeps it as a 3-2 count for Calvert. And ball four is inside. So 
So the sixth batter of the evening will come up to the plate. Eastview starting pitcher, Adam Stockwell. Both pitchers tonight wearing number 35. First pitch for a ball high. With runners on the corners. Trying to keep an eye on that runner at first. One zero pitch. Set back for strike one and one. One out here, there's a chance for another run to score for Eastview, the runner over on third. Worst thing to do would be hit into a double play here. Bojkowski checks the runner over at first. Runner's going and that one's followed back. Calvert going on that pitch but didn't have a chance to get anywhere with the foul. We'll see how they deal with the runner on first if they're going to focus on the batter here. Chikowski throws over to first. Slides back easily. Got to be careful with that. An overthrow there scores a run easily from third. One two pitch on the way with runners on the corners. This one's inside. Wojciechowski intercepts the throwback. Calvert takes second base. Eliminates the easy ground double play here. Two and two count with one down, top of the first inning. Wojciechowski sets to throw. Skied high to left, foul territory. Another play at the fence, but not made. Great camera angle on that one there. Courtesy of the lovely crew here at TTN. Still 2-2, two -two, runners at second and third. Pitch from Wojciechowski. This one's fouled back the other way out of play. Here's the 2-2 pitch. And that one's driven, fouled down the left field line and way out of play. Umpire's looking for a baseball there so they can keep playing. Man, we get a couple of them all at once. Ump takes the chance to clear the plate for us here. Still 2-2. Two -two. Stockwell watches that one go low. And on the pass ball, another run's gonna score. Kelvert advances over to third. Way low and in. As Reeves tried to keep that one in front of him, but he got past him. Three-two pitch, right down the middle, fielded at short. Run will score. That will be an RBI ground out for Eastview's pitcher. It's 
So Coon Rapids gets its second out of the inning. And that brings to the plate number 11, Riley Johnson. First pitch is a ball to Riley, second on the way. This one finds the zone, and that's one and one. Already 34 pitches here in the first inning for Wojciechowski, number 35 on the way. And that one's popped foul behind home plate. Never good to throw 30 plus pitches during an inning. Usually means you've been out there for a while. This one's grounded again to third base. Fielded, thrown over to first. And that'll end this half inning, but not before Eastview has a chance to put four on the board. We'll go to commercial, 4-0 Eastview, middle of the first inning. You're watching CTN High School Baseball. Oh, hi, I'm TV's Howie Shapiro. And when I'm not announcing CTN sports broadcasts with my sidekick, Joe Yen, I'm watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. Getting ready to start at the bottom of the first inning here at Wintercrest Park. Eastview puts up four runs in that first inning on, on only two hits. A couple of walks, got some base runners out there. Coon Rapids will finally get a chance to get up to the plate here. Leading off with Cody Thompson, followed by Reeves, pitcher Wojcikowski, Noah Koss, Jake Dumovic, Matt Essler, Carter Schoolmeisters, Jordan Little, and McCoy Merkett round out the order for the Coon Rapids. Hoping to get through more than three batters this inning out there on the mound for Eastview. You see number 35, Adam Stockwell, RBI in the top of that first inning. Defense behind him has got McDivitt behind the plate. Augustin at first, Hodgin at second. Riley Johnson in the shortstop, Johnny Selkow at third base. Outfield of Calvert, Wilson, and Lindstrom. Backing them up out there. So we'll see if Coon Rapids can respond to those four runs Eastview puts up in the top of the first. Thompson digs in and watch the first pitch go by for a strike. Second pitch goes down right field line, foul. And out of play. Oh, two count here for Cody Thompson. This one's down the middle and he grounds it toward short. Third baseman fields it, fires across the diamond for the first out. Nice long throw there from Selkow all the way from third. Played it off a hop on the dirt. And that'll bring Justin Rees up to the plate. Falls off that first pitch. A lot of work during that first inning for the catcher, Justin Reeves. Close to 40 pitches he had to field. Sinker just to the outside there. Brings the count to one and one. That high fastball usually catches him swinging, and that time it does. It's 
Stockwell out on the mound, throwing the one-two pitch. And that's a strike three looking for Justin Reeves. Getting another look at that here. Fires it straight down. Two down here, bottom of the first. Tyler Wojcikowski gets a chance to bat here after facing uh, seven batters himself from the mound. That one's grounded, bounced just over the pitcher's head. Rounds first base and he'll hold up for the single. Good hop on that off the dirt. Cleared the pitcher's head. Got a base runner for the Coonrad. No cost up at the plate here. Good. Courtesy runner over on first base. As we see no cost there. First pitch is a ball, 1-0 count. This one's hit solidly to the gap in right center. He'll hold up at first base, but that gets our courtesy runner over to third. So two hits, two runners on for Coon Rapids. Let's see if they can translate that into any runs here. Brings Jake Dumovic up to the plate with the runners on the corners. Takes a look at that first pitch, called straight. Throw back to first to keep the runner on there. Stockwell sets up to get the sign here. 0 1 pitch on the way. And that one's outside for ball. Two outs here, bottom of the first. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. And that one catches the outside corner for a called strike two. This pitch is fouled off. McDevitt can't hang on to it. Coach Jerry Coe for the Cardinals out there at third base. Signals over to his runners. Here comes the pitch. And this one's grounded straight back to the pitcher. Tossed to first for out number three. So five batters, two hits, but no runs for Coon Rapids. As we go to the second inning, 4-0 Eastfield, you're watching High School Baseball on CTF. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest! You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. When you watch CTN News, you'll notice we're different. It's about the people, the places, the stories that affect your life. 
we're local. We focus on the local communities, the local issues, and the local stories. They're the stories that impact you, the stories you won't find anywhere else. It's the people, the places, and the events that make CTN so interesting. It's about connecting you to your community, one story at a time. The snacks are out here at the baseball game. East View on top, Coon Rapids 4 0 after one. Wojciechowski will be facing number 21, Nick Hodgin for Eastview. First pitch is a ball. Get some swinging on that one. Bring the count even to 1 1. So after Yund officially throwing almost 40 pitches in that first inning, we'll see if Will just got a better shot in the second here. This one's driven straight to the second baseman. And the first out's away. So already a better start than they had last inning. Get a replay here of Esler fielding that liner. First pitch strike to Lindstrom. Drives the second one there. And Coon Rapids goes one two so far this inning. A great start. That over as Merkel fields it cleanly. <laughs> Brings us back around to the top of the order. Last hand him up, Jacob got the first base on a walk and ended up scoring that first run of the game for Eastview. 1-0 pitch is low on outside. A little bit in the dirt. Wojcikowski sets up here with the count 2 now. Called strike there. 2-1 with two down here. Top of the second inning. Sets and throws, this one's popped up. Out of play off the right field line. Somewhere beyond the trees. So the count 2-2, two, two. Wilson digs in. Wojciechowski gets him swinging on a strike three. Coon Rapids goes one, two, three outs in the second inning. We'll be back after this with more high school baseball. If you store your guns properly, I'll feel safer when I'm playing outside. Safer when walking home. I won't have to tell so many family members. I'm sorry. I won't hear as many scary stories. And I won't have to tell my kids. This isn't a drill. Please. Please, do it for us. Your family, friends, and neighbors are all counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. Hart, right, what's going on? I'm leaving. Why? What did I do? Not enough. You constantly ignore me. You barely eat anything healthy. You're half as active as you used to be. The pressure is just too much. I quit. OK, I get it. I'll do better. Just please, don't leave. OK, but remember, if I go, you go. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. Uncontrolled high blood pressure could lead to stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range before it's too late.
back with more baseball. Coach Jerry Coe there looking on the field. His team's got a chance to cut into that lead here, down 4-0, second inning. Inning will start off with Matt Essler, second baseman. Had a chance to field a line drive there in the last inning. See what he can do from the plate. First pitch catches him and he's already on. See where he got him on the replay here. Caught his jersey on the way by, but still counts. Brings Schoolmeesters up. Jumps right on that first pitch, and that one bounces over the third baseman's head. Two pitches, two batters on here in the second inning for Coon Rapids. Salkaw did his best to jump up and extend for that one, but it was just over his glove. Bunted down third baseline. Throw bounces past the first baseman and a run will score. Throw bounce just in the wrong spot. Augustine unable to field it. Coon Rapids gets their first run of the game. So we've got runners on first and second. Nobody out. McCoy Merkel up at the plate. Throw back to second there. Check Crawford, but he stays there. Or Schoolmeister, sorry. Doesn't quite get the bunt in there, gets a called strike. Holds off on this one here for a ball. That pitch is popped up, brings the count to one and two. Runners at first and second here, nobody down. And Merkel gets the strike, or gets the struck out, not gets the strike out. Just couldn't get up for that one. And that'll be the first out of the end. First pitch line straight past the pitcher. Second base. Runners will advance and hold up to load the bases. Nice hit there for Cody Thompson. Big 
bases loaded with one out. Going to bring Justin Reeves up to the plate. Called first strike. See all the red and white out on the base paths there. Reeves gets ready for the 0 1 pitch. This one's a little outside. Struck out his last time at bat. 1 1 with the bases loaded right now. See Stockwell get ready for the pitch here. This one's thrown outside and they throw back to third and get him at third base. Caught him cheating a little too far towards home. Couldn't get back in time. Got him by quite a ways there. We can see on the replay. One, two count with two down now. Takes a little bit of the pressure off as this one's pitched a little off the plate. Stockwell sets and throws. Straight down the middle, gets the second strike out of Reeves. Ends the inning. Couple hits for Coon Rapids, but no damage on the scoreboard. Still 4-1 Eastview, you're watching CTN's coverage of high school baseball. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Back for some high school baseball. Put some gentlemen in the stands there, probably checking out the feed on YouTube. 4 1 Eastview here as we go to the top of the third inning. Coon Rapids had a few chances with base runners there last inning, but didn't get a chance. The first pitch goes inside and off the glove of Justin Reeves. We see Cole McDivitt. Scored a run his last time up after getting on base after an error. Takes that pitch for a ride to left field. Back close to the wall. A little makes the catch out there. And we've got one down. Grab is able to only face three batters this last inning. See if they give themselves a chance to do that again here. Second batter of the inning. Takes that first pitch back deep towards center. And that one's fielded cleanly by Crawford. Yeah. 
So that brings up Carson Augustine, grounded out during the first inning. Wojciechowski throws that strike there. After facing seven batters and throwing almost 40 pitches, Yund officially in that first inning. Seems to have settled down a little bit on that strike zone. Of course he'd throw a ball right after I say that. That's how these things work. This one driven over second baseman and into right field. But he'll hold up at first base with a single. And Eastview's got their first base runner of the inning. Nice solid swing there just over Esler's head. Kyle Calvert here, walked his first hit bat, stole second base and came around to score. Wojciechowski's <laughs> second pitch misses the plate, leaves the count 2 0 with two outs here in the third. Two pitch gets fouled off down the third base line. Signal comes in for Wojcikowski. Throw out to second base. Rolls past. But he's got back up out there, so the runner doesn't advance past second. Augustine with the stolen base there. See him take off almost immediately there. So 2-2 two -two the count here. Runner out on second base. Wojcikowski glances back at him before he delivers. And this one's hit. Solidly mishandled by Esler, tries to come up with it and can't. Run coming home, and he gets him on the way to the plate to get Coon Rapids out of the inning without any more damage done. Good heads up play out there from Esler after mishandling the grounder. Gets the run trying to come home. Coon Rapids gets to the bottom of the third with no more damage done. It's 4-1 Eastview, and you're watching High School Baseball on CTN. Every day across America, excess food is gathered by a network of good people at local food banks, giving hope to millions of children who struggle with hunger. They've earned their wings, and you can too. Together, we can solve child hunger. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. I've got a job to do today. I have got a job to do today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator. that ended the uh, half inning there with the throw coming home. Nice catch. Gets the tag on him. He's already behind him. Great play by Reeves there. Coon Rapids dugout seems to be having a good time here. Nice way to get out of the inning as pitcher Tyler Wojciechowski steps into the batter's box. Down 4-1 here in the bottom of the third. 
watches that first pitch go by. Called first strike. Singled in the first inning there. Got all the way to third, but not far enough to get home. Gives this one a ride out towards center. And this is over the fielder's head. Wojciechowski digging in for a second. Decides to hold up with a leadoff double. Really got a hold of that one there. Fielder had to go back and chase it down. Wilson out in center field. So the runner on second, nobody out. Holds up on that first pitch. That's Noah Koss here. Single last time he was up. Bounces this one towards third. Checks the runner. Fires over to first and gets the end. Good play by Seljow there to keep his eyes on the runner. Keep him honest over at uh, second base. We got a courtesy runner out there for the pitcher. And they opt to keep the runner there at second base. First pitch to the batter is low and in the dirt. McDevitt does a good job keeping it in front of him. Lehman, the runner out there at second base. Swings through the next pitch. Grounded out to end of the first inning last time he was up. Domovic looking to move that runner over here. Gets a piece of this one, short pop to left. Fielded out there by Calvert. And that's two down here in the bottom of the third. Brings Matt Astler up to the plate here. Couldn't wrap his sole run of the game. Hit by a pitch. Moves around and scoring. Takes that first pitch to right center field. Runner comes around, digs in from third. Scores easily and Astler's in with a double. Real nice hit here as he drove that one to the gap. That'll bring Schoolmeister's back up. Petch catches the corner, they throw back, trying to get the runner at second. Throws a little off and he gets back to the bag. Get some dirt on the uniform there. You see him diving back. Cleans himself up a bit there as the umps get ready. The one two pitch on the way with two down, runner out in second base. Schoolmeacher sings through, swings through that one for a called strike three. Fourth strike out of the night for Stockwell ends the third inning. But Coon Rapids gets one more on the board. It's 4 2 at the end of the third inning. You're watching High School Baseball on CTF.
also spent eight minutes decorating their little brother. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Oh, hi. I'm TV's Howie Shapiro. And when I'm not announcing CTN Sports broadcasts with my sidekick, Joe Yen, I'm watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. Back at the baseball game here. Start of the fourth inning. Used to be on top of Coon Rapids 4-2. Despite only having a couple hits on the board, somebody's really happy to be on TV. Probably the, the kid with the ball there. All right, Wojciechowski sets up here to start the fourth inning. After getting uh, shelled in the first inning there, Coon Rapids settled down here. No score the last two innings for Eastview. Pitcher Stockwell on the other side of the plate there. 1-0 pitch on the way. And this one ends up low, called ball. Two zero pitch on the way. <laughs> this one's high and inside. Three zero count here for Stockwell. Wojcicki <laughs> sets out. And this one's outside. Four pitch walk. We'll get a courtesy runner over there on first base as you see some guys warming up in the pen for East. Ryan Pfeiffer will be our pinch runner over there on first. And that sets up Riley Johnson here. One runner on and nobody out here in the fourth. Drops down a bunt and that goes foul. Johnson grounded out back in the first to end that inning. Wojcicki looks over his shoulder at the runner over on first. Fires back there, but Pfeiffer is able to get back in town. Oh, one pitch on the way. Shows bunt, but that one misses the zone. One and one. Coon Rapids really keeping an eye on that runner over on first. Pitch on the way. And that one's out of the zone, two one. Wojciechowski settled down quite a bit after that first inning. Better shows blunt. This one's outside again for ball three. Johnson waits for the pitch. Shows blunt again. Let's it go and gets the walk. So two walks this inning for Wojcikowski. We see over there Nick Plessel warming up. A 
little conference out on the mound. Talk about the situation here. And every Tuesday night, you can watch Sports Night. Joe and Howie, 7.30 every Tuesday night, recapping all the week's greatest hits, worst misses. Two runners on here in the fourth with nobody down. Batter shows bunt again, lays this one down straight to the pitcher. Wojcikowski throws to first to get the first out. Both runners do advance though. Pfeiffer on third, Johnson on second. See the bunt, lays it down square on here. Tried to get it closer to that first baseline, but it ended up going straight up the middle. Wojcikowski gets the one out. And with one down, we got runners in second and third. Eastview threatening to add some more onto that 4 2 lead. First pitch fall off the third base side. That's Alex Lindstrom there, grounded out back in the second inning. Wojciechowski sets and throws. That one's driven straight away to center field and bounces past the fielder. Crawford has to chase that one back. Two runs are going to score on the double. Lindstrom makes it a 6-2 game. See him get a hold of that pitch there and just field it to the left of Crawford. Gets behind him. Gives both runners from second and third a chance to score. And that first pitch to Wilson. Ball one. Top of the order again. Wilson struck out his last time at bat. Wojciechowski's only strike out of the night. Bats that one hard down left field. The runner looks like he's ready to go. Wilson getting a signal from third base there. Wojo sets up. This one's grounded softly, fouled on the right field line. Runner was almost all the way to the third. See plus a lot in the bullpen again, getting loose. One, two pitch on the way. This one's driven past third baseman. Merrick. That's another hit for Eastview. See it again here. Gets just past the glove of Demerick. He's able to hit it and slow it down. So with two runners on, McDevitt comes up to the plate. First pitch is outside. Reeves able to keep it down in front of him. Reached on air back in the first and was able to get around the bases to score a run. Throw goes back to first there. And Wilson gets back in town. Got to get that uniform dirty somehow. One-0 pitch on the way. This one's high and hit high. Back in left field. Makes the catch. Runner going home. Throw to the cutoff man. And he will score on the sacrifice fly.
So Eastview puts another run on the board there. And field the catch here and left. They don't bother trying to gun it all the way home because there's another runner out on the bases. Speaking of whom, Wojciechowski throws over to first to check. And make sure he's still there. Two down, runner on first here. First pitch to Salkow, just fouled on the third baseline. Runner's already at second base. Double back in the first. As he sets up here to face the 0-1 pitch. Runners going, throws made and not there in time. Wilson gets over to second on the stolen base. See the throw again here. Little off base. Wojcikowski sets up to pitch, counts one and one. Drops that one right down the pipe. First strike two. So runner out on second base with a 7-2 lead and two down. This one gets fouled up. Out of play. The so one two pitch on the way. Coon Rapids are looking to get out of this inning before any more damage is done. This pitch gets popped up to right center field. He's over, doesn't make the catch, and another run will score. So four runs so far here in the fourth. And drove that one up and deep to the right center. Can't quite make the catch out there in center. Crawford bobbles it and Wilson jogs in easily from third. Hey, same thing, Augie. That brings Augustine to the plate. Single last time he was up. Takes a big cut at that one. That'll drop in front of the fielder for another base hit. Jerry Coe is going to walk out here, have a little infield in conference. And that'll be the night for Wojciechowski. So we'll take a break while our new pitcher warms up. Still in the top of the fourth. After Plessel gets warm, we'll be back with more high school baseball. and high school students drop out every school day. That's a line of desks more than four miles long. We can keep students in school. Visit boostup.org and take the first step. Cook 
foods to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. Back under the lights here in the fourth inning. Still in the top after a pitching change. Speaking of on top, Eastview 8-2 over Coon Rapids at the moment. Get a look at our new pitcher there. Nick Plessel, number 14. Right-hander will have a chance here. Face left-handed batter, Kyle Calvert. Two down and two runners on it, first and second here, top of the fourth. First pitch from Plessel's high for a ball. Keeps an eye on his runners and delivers. That one catches the inside for a called strike. One and one. Calvert walked back in the first. Had a chance to steal a base as well. Plessel pitches. This one's also high. Ball two. Two outs here, the two one pitch on the way. Plessel throws, this one's hit. Deep to center field. Goes back, and this time makes the catch to end the inning. No additional damage done, but four more in that inning after four in the first. Eastview's on top, eight two. You're watching CTM's coverage of high school baseball. Brush, brushy, brush, brushy, brush, brush your teeth. Game recap so far, first inning, Eastview lit it up, scoring four runs. Coon Rapids had a chance later on to chip away at that, scoring two of their own. But then in the top half of the fourth, Eastview got those bats going again, scoring another four. You see that last run from Coon Rapids. Eastview has since added to their lead. It's 8-2 here as we go into the bottom of the fourth. And we've got a new pitcher out on the mound for Eastview as well. I don't know if anybody keeps official stats, but both starting pitchers were number 35, and both relief pitchers are number 14. I don't know what the odds of that are, but that seems a little bizarre to me. So Stockwell and Selkow switch positions basically from the pitching mound to third base. As we go into the bottom of the fourth here. And Coon Rapids first batter. Getting ready to go here. Looks like Jordan Little's gonna be our leadoff batter here. Little reached on air last time I played.
ball one to start off the inning. Second pitch is high, 2-0 -oh count. There we go, 3 0. The first batter here in the bottom of the fourth. Gets that one over the plate for strike one. Snake oil now. 3 1 pitch is low in the dirt. Jordan Little gets over to first base on the walk. Top of the order here for Coon Rapids. Bottom of the order, which is the opposite of the top. Merkel up at the plate here. Watches that one to bring the count to one and one. Struck out last time up. Back in the second inning. Solid hit here, throw over to two. Let's see if it first. It's a good fielding there by our starting pitcher. Now over at third base, throws to second for the one out. Just missed the double play there. Cody Thompson stepping up to the plate here. Single in the second inning. Watches strike one. Come in over the side of the plate. Oh one pitch a little bit high for the one and one. This pitch is low as well. Brings the count to 2-1. Bottom four with a six run deficit and a base runner. Coon Rapids has a chance here to make some noise. This one gets hit deep to right. Jumps up and makes the catch in right field. Lindstrom with an athletic grab out there. Nice grab up over his head there. Justin Reed steps up. 0 for 2 tonight with a pair of strikeouts. Takes the first pitch. Getting a little darker and those lights are coming into play. Pitch from Salco catches the outside edge for strike one. One one pitch on the way. Derby keeps it in front of him, but doesn't have a chance to field it as a base runner. Advances over there to second base. Merkel over at second, 2-1 pitch. On the way to Reeves. He drives this one to right field. Goes back, can't glove it, as a one run will score. He'll hold up at second base. Watch the attempt at the fielding here. Just misjudged it off the glove. Right. 
first pitch inside there to Wojciechowski. Wojo drills this one to first base, mishandled. Pitcher gets over in time though to tag. And that is the end of the fourth. Coon Rapids gets one more score there. 8-3 going into the fifth. You're watching CTM. Full life measured in seats starts with the right ones early on. Car crashes are the number one killer of children one through 13. Learn how to prevent deaths and injuries by using the right car seat for your child's age and size. Jimmy can't sing and Tommy can't dance. So we're, we're gonna, gonna put, put some ants in their pants. Aww. Kids will spend 22 minutes watching us, the super duper party troopers, sing about ants in their pants. Isn't that funny? Ants in their pants, they've got ants in their pants, they've got ants in their pants. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Top five back here at Wintergrass Park. And Eastview on top, 8-3 over Coon Rapids. A good look at the Coon Rapids management staff there. See the lights on as the sun's going down behind the clouds there. A little bit of color in the otherwise gray sky. As the now third baseman Stockwell steps up 0-1 after the first pitch. Drives this one bouncing towards third. It's fielded, thrown across the diamond, and they got him in time. Just inside the bag there, and that's a long throw across the diamond, but right on the money. For the first out. Johnson steps up to bat here. Swings at the first pitch. Strike one. Reached on a walk last inning. Came around to score. Riley Johnson waits for the 0-1 pitch. Watches that one. Just misses. One and one. This pitch is driven straight to the shortstop. Fired over for the second out of the inning. Nice, clean, routine grounder there. Two down for Coon Rapids. Lodgen watches that first pitch go by for a ball. Plessel came in in relief of Wojciechowski last inning. One zero pitch gets fouled off. One and one. Way outside, two and one. See Nick Hodgins night there, 0 for 2 so far this evening. Skies this one to deep right center. And he makes the catch to end the inning. Three up, three down. As we go to the bottom of the fifth, Coon Rapids down three to eight on CTN.
Oh, hi. I'm TV's Howie Shapiro. And when I'm not announcing CTN Sports Broadcast with my sidekick, Joe Yen, I'm watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. Preventing wildfires. That's all Smokey wants for his 70th birthday. Bright lights on the field as we drop down out of the sky back to the baseball diamond here, bottom of the fifth inning. Eastview Lightning, 8 3. That's out of the Cardinals. Suck out of the mound for Eastview. Moving up to the mound from third base. Managers exchanging pleasantries there. Coon Rapids will start off the inning with Noah Koss up at the plate. One for two tonight with a single. Coon Rapids looking to get something going here. It was a five run deficit. First pitch is the ball. Pitcher sets, throws. This one's fouled back into the fence behind home plate. One and one. That pitch is low for ball two. Sokal goes inside, but he's able to drive that between short and third. Single for Koss. Great way to start off the inning. Good placement there on the hit. And that'll bring up Demovic. Or Brennan Butler. There we go. We have a batting change. Butler's first chance at the plate tonight. Starts out one and one. On here, butter. Outside, throw over to first, but he gets back in time. Keep an eye on Koss over there at first. Two on count with nobody down here in the bottom five. Another pitch low, 3-1 count. Straight down the pipe for strike two. So a full count on Butler, the runner on first and nobody down. Silkow's pitch, right in for strike three. Get another look at that one there. Just straight in there. Butler tried to shrink that strike zone there at the last minute, but to no avail. Ah. 
Firing over to first again there after the pitch. Essler at the plate now. One of the Coon Rapids runners who scored tonight. Catches the corner of the plate there for strike two. Oh, two pitch on the way with one down. And this one's outside for ball one. Pitch from Salka popped up towards right field. Called foul. First baseman there, Augustine, tried to make the catch over his head, wasn't able to reel it in. Lands just foul of the line there. Goes the other way off his glove. That would have been fair. This pitch is down, bounces off the ground, and goes all the way to the backstop. Runner digs around for third, and he gets there on the pass ball. Although that has a wild pitch. Two bases though for Koss. Bounced in the dirt and then off the catcher's armor. Good heads up play by Koss to see where the ball was and get around to third base. So we got a runner on third down. Third now with one out. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way to Esler. Down again to bring it to a full count. McDevitt adjusting his gear there. So we get ready for the 3-2 pitch. And this one's fouled off, out of play over the right field fence. The out of bounds fence, not the home run fence. That would be a, a different reaction. Bassler digs in again. Gets a piece of this one. Tipped in strike three for the second out of the inning. Good movement on that, on that pitch there from South Cal. Essler can't square it up. Strike one to Schoolmeisters there. Two down here in the fifth, runner on third. Coon Rapids trailing 3-8. This one's low, but he keeps the ball nearby. Good job by McDevitt there. <laughs> one and one, the count. Swing and a miss for schoolmistress. One two pitch inside, driven to the second baseman, fields cleanly, throws over to first. And Eastview gets out of the inning without giving up a run. Hang on to their 8 3 lead. That's the end of five innings. We'll take you to break. You're watching High School Baseball on CTM. King. Go fish. Hey, hey, the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Hey everybody.
everybody. Heart disease affects one in every three women in America, but you can fight back. There's no time to lose. Mothers, sisters, daughters, families, and friends, it's time to shout louder, stand stronger, and demand change. Let's go. To the Batmobile. Dang it. To the invisible jet. Dang it. Together, we can put an end to heart disease. It's time to go red for women. I could use your help. Yeah! Learn more from the American Heart Association at www.goredforwomen.org. New picture for Coon Rapids here at the top of the sixth inning. Looks like Eli Velder out there. So Coon Rapids has only given up runs in two innings. Unfortunately, they gave up four each time. They face that 8-3 hole here, top of the sixth. Hopefully, they can stop it. Eastview from scoring any more here. Eli gets a chance out on the mound there. First batter he'll face is Lindstrom. Lindstrom with a two RBI double last time at the plate. First pitch strike. For Eli, always nice as a pitcher to start out ahead in the count. This one gets popped back and out of play. A quick 0-2 here in the top of the sixth. As we see over in the bullpen for the Lightning. David Tratchett warming up. Ground ball down on the field. And Lindstrom's thrown out at first. Esler scoops it up and tosses it over to Cooks. Get the first one away here in the sixth. That gets back to the top of Eastview's order. Jacob Wilson here. First pitch is high for ball one. Wilson's come all the way around twice tonight to score. Single and a walk, stolen base earlier today. Lays down a bunt here, but that one goes foul. Brings the count to one and one. See our graphics team is on top of their game as well here. This pitch is outside for ball two. Felder looking to hold the Lightning where they're at in the score. Grounded over to third, fired over. And Koss catches that one. for out number two. Wojciechowski over at third now. And that'll bring the catcher McDevitt up to the plate. Thinks better of that one on the inside. Ball one. Arby on a sack fly earlier tonight. Guys, this one back to right field, and that goes over the head of the fielder, bounces back to the wall, and he's digging for third base. Throw comes in, bounces past the fielder. But he's held up at third by some good backup by Velder there. If he's not over there, that's another run. Get a look at McDevitt's triple there. Puts that one way back. Anybody get the poop shot in, 
See him run in there. Not able to keep the ball in front of him. With the pitcher back there, Coon Rapids holds him to third. Eastview's current pitcher suck out, takes a start, strike one there. Couple RBI for him back in the beginning of the game to start the scoring with a double. That strike catches the outside for 0-2. Two down, runner at third. In the top of the sixth. Gets him swinging for strike three, and despite the triple, Coon Rapids holds Eastview at eight runs so far. We'll go to break and be back with Coon Rapids at the bottom of their order. This is CTM. This is the moment I knew. His future had no boundaries. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. You wouldn't let money just blow out of your house. So when your AC or heater is on, make sure the doors, windows, and fireplace flue are shut tight. If you're headed out, turn down the AC or lower the heat by 10 degrees. And always keep your water heater set at 120. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. Get more great tips at energysaver.gov. Back for more baseball here with CTN. There you see the scoreboard at Eastview. Eight runs to Coon Rapids three. Nice blue sky there, green grass. As we get into the end game, Coon Rapids looking to make some noise here, put some more on the board. During the break there, both managers came out, talked to the umpire, have some more, uh, some more moves, both on offense and defense. We got a new pitcher out on the mound. David Tratchett out there for Eastview. And he'll face Jordan Little with the first strike. Little over one tonight with a walk. Catches the outside corner and a called strike two. This one's grounded towards first base, fielded by the first baseman, tossed over to the pitcher, and they got him in time. Tratchett sprinting over and getting that first out. Get a look at it again here. Merkel's up to bat here for Coon Rapids, and he sees a strike as his first pitch as well. That pitch is a little further outside and down in the dirt. First non-strike pitch from Tratchett there, beyond officially. 1-1 pitch on the way with one down. That one's a little high, but gets fouled off by Merkel. Brings the count to 1-2. Tretch shakes off a call. Throws this one outside for ball two. McDevitt back there behind the plate. This is his third pitcher he's catching for tonight. 
That pitch is low, but grounded towards third base. Throw comes over, and that's two down. Another look at it there. Straight on to third base. Two down here, bottom six. Coon Rapids is running out of outs. Bring us back up to the top of the order. Cody Thompson. Sees a ball on his first pitch. He had a single back in the second inning tonight. One-0 -oh pitch is also outside, 2-0. Tratchet settles in here. Throws a third one to the outside edge. This one all the way past the catcher. 3-0. So as is typical in sports broadcasting, as soon as I mentioned that he was throwing lots of strikes, he stopped doing it. So 3-0 pitch finds the zone now. 3-1 to Cody Thompson. Holds up on a swing and gets the walk. The five pitch walk to Thompson. So Coon Rapids has a base runner here in the bottom of the sixth with two down. Mike Zimbeck batting now. Zimbeck watches that first pitch and pops it up into foul territory down the right field line, and that is caught. That'll end this inning. Coon Rapids still down 8-3. Going to the seventh here on CTN. Chuck. What did I do? Okay. Wow. That is so weird. Hey! Hi! Hi! Oh my gosh. Hi! God, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm so nervous. Gia, you're so big. Come closer to the camera. <laughs> Wait, now you're in my face. Hi. That was so good. Hey! Going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark! We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Top seventh inning, high school baseball on CTN. Eastview, eight runs on six hits. A couple fielding errors for both teams. As we get ready to go here. First baseman, Karsten Augustine, will lead off the inning. He'll lead it off on first base after getting hit in the back. Not always the best way to get to first, but it still counts. Eli Velder came in last inning to start pitching. Not a great way to start this one. We'll see what he does here against Calvert. Each batter's a clean slate in the count. First pitch is outside. Reeves keeps it in front of him and keeps the runner over on first base. Calvert had a walk earlier tonight. Way back in the first inning.
My mistake there. Looks like Hutzel is batting now. More of those late late game subs where you got to pay attention to the numbers on the jerseys. Hutzel lays down a butt in perfect position and gets himself a base hit off of it. So Hutzel advances the runner, gets himself safely to first as well. And that'll bring Stockwell up to the plate. Started the game pitching, then moved over to third. Nobody out and two runners on. This one's outside and off the catcher back to the fence. Both runners will advance one base. See if Valder can keep it together here. Stockwell sets up. Another low pitch in the dirt. Reeves keeps this one in front of him again. 2-0 to Stockwell. Stockwell knocks this one straight away. Throw goes home, but does not get there in time. Run scores, RBI single for Stockwell. Get another look at it here as he drives it straight up and past the pitcher. Second baseman fires home, but catcher was playing way in front of the plate. Did he may have a chance to make a tag there. First pitch there to Ryan Pfeiffer. <laughs> Pfeiffer holds up on that one, ball two inside. This one's driven to left field. High and back, catch is made and the runner holds up over at third. No it advances on the floor. Half the fun of late game baseball is trying to figure out where the lineup changes happen. Who's playing what positions in the field. Nick Hodgins steps into the batter's box now. He's 0 for 3 tonight. First pitch is outside to him. Runner moves up to second base. 1 0 pitch on the way. This one gets fouled out. The bounds on the right side of the field. Brings the count to 1 and 1. Valder gets that one over the strike zone, one and two. One down here, with runners in scoring position in the top of the zone. This one gets hit deep to right field. Fielder's back. Ball bounces to the wall. One run will score, second one coming in, and the runner holds up at second base. Two RBI double for Hodgin after going 0 for 3. Yeah. 
You see the base runners jog in nice and easy there. Looks like we got another lineup change here. Felder waits to see who's going to be batting next. We heard Tom uh, Tom Strang making a change there for Eastview. Clearing it with our umpire. Heading back out to coach third base. So looks like Casey Dravis will be our new batter. His first chance at the plate tonight with a runner on second base and one down here in the top of the seventh. First pitch is a ball up high. Get on top of the party now, little destroyer. Second pitch, also a ball from Eli Velma. This one's hit solidly, but curls foul down the left field line and out of play. Someone's excited to go chase that one down. Valder delivers strike two. Felder sets, throws, gets him swinging, strike three. And that's two down here in the seventh. Get another look at this pitch here, just makes him reach for it. Can't get a handle on it, and that's a solid strikeout for Felder. First pitch here to Wilson, back to the top of the Eastview roster. This is fifth at bat of the game. One for three tonight. Second pitch is way inside for Balti. See some action over there in the bullpen for Coon Rapids. This one gets popped up deep down the left field line. And fouled out of play. Base runner heads back to second base. Hodgin hanging out there. After his RBI double earlier in the inning, brought two more in. This one's Shot straight to center field. Barely has to make any adjustment. Catch is made by Crawford to end the inning. Thompson, rather. That'll take us to the bottom of the seventh. Coon Rapids down by eight. You're watching CTN. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. So, I got this new family. And I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot.
8-bit music and an 8-run deficit for Coon Rapids as we go to the bottom of the 7th inning. Long way to go to get back into this one. As we see the pitcher out there for Eastview. Number 11, Riley Johnson. Their fourth pitcher this evening. Hear the nice snap of the catcher's mitt there, courtesy of Brian Trout. So if, we'll see if Coon Rapids makes any lineup changes here going forward. Bottom of the seventh. Leading off the inning will be Tyler Wojcikowski. Two for three this evening. It's usually a good way to stay in the lineup is to hit the ball. First pitch strike from Riley Johnson. Wojcikowski bounces the second pitch up over the middle. Not fielded cleanly and comes out with a single. Good contact there. Hodgen can't come up cleanly with it there. Or, I'm sorry, they have a new second baseman. Looks like Geralt's out there at second now. The fun name game at the end of the game. Big strike there to Noah Koss. He's also had a pretty productive night, two for three with a pair of singles. Pops that second one foul outside of third base. So 0-2 always a great place to be for a pitcher. Johnson gets the signal from McDevitt. Fires and gets strike three. Nothing like a three pitch strikeout to make the evening move faster. Another look at the placement he got there on that one. Catches that bottom corner. That'll bring Brody Lang up to the plate for Coon Rapids. First pitch is high there. As Lang digs in with a runner on first and one down. Swings through that pitch. Johnson evens the count to one and one. Sets and throws. Grounded back to the pitcher who fires over to second base. Grabs the lead runner. And that's two away here in the bottom of the seventh. Good communication out there on the field to get that uh, lead runner out. That'll bring Matt Essler up to the plate for Coon Rapids with only one, one out left. First pitch ball to Essler. Back in the second inning. He got to first base after being hit by a pitch. One of only three Coon Rapids runners to score yet tonight. Hits that second pitch to the gap in right center. That's gonna be an extra base hit for him. Runners headed home. Relay throw comes, it's high. Kessler almost gets caught trying to go to third there. And that's two RBIs and two doubles for Matt Essler. Nice solid hit out there to the field. Let's 
See him digging for second base there. Stands up with the double. Thinks about third and almost gets caught there. McDevitt will come out to the mound. Talk to Riley Johnson. Schoolmeister's at the plate right now. 1-0 after that first pitch. Two down, runner down on second base, 11-4. Strike one to the schoolmaster. Johnson sets up for the 1-1 pitch. And that one's low for ball two. Esler out there on second base. And that one gets followed back as Schoolmeisters gets a piece of it. Brings count to 2-2. Two -two. Two pitches outside to bring the count full. 3-2 with two down here in the bottom of the seventh. Asler takes a huge lead off second base. He's going to third, and that one's fouled back out of play. He's too focused on getting the batter out. Full count pitch coming. This one's inside for a ball four. And Esler dashes over to third base. That'll bring number two, Jordan Little, up to the plate. Johnson gets a strike on the outside edge there. Little 0 for 2 tonight with a walk. This one gets grounded up the middle. Fielded by the shortstop, fight to first. And that will be the game. So Eastview gives up one run there in the seventh. But ends up coming out on top, 11 to four, nine hits for each team, couple fielding errors. That'll bring Eastview to 13 and five, give them a seven game winning streak here. Coon Rapids loses their third in a row to drop to 10 and eight. They'll play New Prague tomorrow night. Yeah, playoffs to look forward to here. The five AAA playoffs start uh, next week on Thursday. Other upcoming coverage from CTN. We've got girls softball playoffs starting with Coon Rapids facing Champlin Park on Monday the 18th. Girls lacrosse. Blaine visits Coon Rapids in Coon Rapids. And once the last few games of the season are done here, we'll know the setup for the boys baseball playoffs and who Coon Rapids opponents will be. So Coon Rapids falls to Eastview tonight. We'd like to thank everyone for supporting CTN and everything we do. For all the crew and our director, Neil Hennon, I'm Jeremy Smith saying goodnight.